G'day, it's Jamie, and welcome to Where's My Yowie. Today, I'm reading an old science journal article about a Yowie origin story, so we'll get into it. This was published in the Science of Man and Journal of the Royal Anthropological Society of Australasia on the 21st of July, 1900, titled Myths of the Burragarang Tribe by M. Feld, Picton. The Burragarang Tribe inhabited the country from Parramatta to Penrith, Mudgee, Tambarora, thence to Bathurst, Goulburn, Maroolan, Bungbung, Berrima, Picton and Camden. They wore a bone through their nose. Their word for no was Gara Guga and for yes, U-E. The place named Maru Inn means a mountain standing alone. I cannot, nor could they, explain the meaning of the place named Maru Rang, but it is in the name of a scrubby mountain not far distant from Maru Inn. What is now known as Mount Kulong, the Burragarang tribe called Gil In Gang meaning a high mountain flat on the top. Yerandere, a high mount running to a pinnacle. Bull in Gulong, standing up like a person's hair came the reverse way, is now known as the peaks, while Ganga Luk, a mountain, means echo. The Aborigines had certain superstitions about these mountains or peaks, which may be of interest to the readers of science. They believe that Guba lived among the above mountains. He is supposed to be a wild, hairy man with feet turned backwards and to have a tail about 30 feet long, by which he would hang to the highest tree in readiness to seize any of the Aborigines as they passed. They had another superstition about a spirit they called the Thu Wang Gong who lived among the rocks and had enormous wings, which he extinguished their campfires, killed them and then ate their livers. These two were supposed to be Yuam Burr's, the real devil's scouts. The tradition about Yuam Burr is that they killed him 200 years ago, that is many generations back, at Tambarora, which they call the Thumb Burr Warring. They fought him there for two days and smashed him into the ground with nulla nullas. So there is no devil or hell, a place of punishment after death for their dead. Their only dread is the devil scouts, as above mentioned. Their god, whom they call Bull An, lived across the sea in the Aborigines heaven. After death, their spirits cross the sea and on arrival at the other side, they find a bridge which they cross and then dive down through a tunnel at the end of which is a fiery mountain. They pass over this and then meet their friends in heaven where they are all happy together. They believe there is one heaven for white man and another for Aborigines. The end. I absolutely love... uh, Aboriginal Yowie origin stories and um, their mythology. I reckon it's fantastic. Um, the Yowie they were talking about, they called Guba, spelt G-U-B-A. And they said he lived among, among the mountains. He was supposed to be a wild hairy man. He had his feet turned backwards and had a tail about 30 feet long, which he used to hang from a tree and grab Aborigines as he passed. And then they had another spirit called the Thu Wangong, who was, um, they just say, had enormous wings and uh, killed and ate their livers, killed the average and ate their livers. And they both worked for the devil, who they're calling Yuan Burr. And uh, like they killed him, they said, with their nulla nullas. They smashed him into the ground. And uh, they reckon that their only dread is the devil's scouts. So that's very interesting, I reckon. Okay, that's it for me. I'll get back to you all next time. Bye.